for the Tornadoes, at least in this first quarter. Romano will throw it for the first time today, directing traffic, lobs it down the field, has a man that catches made wide open, cutting back across the field and taking off towards the end zone for six, and the tie is going to be Keaton Baker, his second touchdown reception of the season. This one goes in the books for 72 yards. On the one-yard line. It is right outside the goal line as Phillips and company go for it on fourth down, trying to retake the lead. Phillips out of the shock on the snap, the handoff Hilliard through the middle. There is no room to run. He tries to bounce to the outside, keep it alive, and Geneva's defense has stepped up once again. Hilliard said he fought his way in the end zone, but it looks like they stopped the play. And it is going to be Geneva football as they turn him over on downs at the one-yard line. Geneva coming out throwing the football for their touchdown. Might have been a little bit of a surprise for this Bison defense as they go back to the ground. And, nope, that's a good fake again by Phillips. Takes off runs. First down over on the far side. And he is going to get popped. Lost the football. And it looks like Geneva is going to fall on it. They do come up with it. It's Reed Gordon who makes the recovery for Geneva. With 10.55 to go in the first half. They lead it by one. Romano under center. Hands off Reed. Right side. Reed picking his way. Pushing his way. Carrying guys. And he just barrels his way into the end zone for the touchdown. With Reed and Finley. Reed is the deep back behind Romano. They put Finley in motion. They hand it off to Reed. Barrels his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Second touchdown run of the afternoon for David Reed. He has not been available for him here today. It's been Reed, Romano, and then it's Reed, and he's got a head of steam, and David Reed takes off, and he is into the end zone for the third time this afternoon. 33-yard touchdown run for David Reed, and with 9.38 to go in the third quarter, Geneva has recaptured the lead as they lead it now 26-20. to Harden up and play a little bit more close man. Romano going to throw it again on first down. Chase in the backfield, gets away from it, throws off his back foot, has a man, the catch is made by Baker, reverses field again, gets away from another one, off to the races, and he is in the end zone for the touchdown. 58 yards, Romano to Baker. Numerous times here this afternoon. I always find the three deep return man really interesting. I think it takes away from the amount of blockers you have. And it's just an interesting decision. I'd like to, ooh. And the ball jars loose on the return. And Geneva's going to recover it at the Bethany 30-yard line. Third down and 10 from the 13. You and me both. Phillips looks. Pocket breaks down. He scrambles backwards. Phillips. Now he steps up. He lost the football, and he falls right on it. But he's got a loss all the way back to the 25, the 26-yard line. It's going to be a 13-yard loss. Two and a half minutes to play. Phillips. First and 10 from the Geneva 37, steps up. Phillips goes down, couldn't take a sack, and he did. The pressure once again from this Geneva defense, they finally get home. Colton Hill, who picks up his second sack of the year. Leaper switches sides. Phillips looks. Phillips, end zone, burns, out of reach. There was contact on the route, but not enough to warrant a flag. With 51 seconds left, Geneva holds, and they are going to hang on here. 